Good afternoon and good morning. This is Mark Johnson from Loyalty360, welcoming you to our ongoing Thought Leadership in Loyalty series. Today we have Lonnie Main, President of InMoment. Good afternoon, Lonnie. How are you? Hey, I'm doing fantastic, Mark. Thanks for asking. Glad to be with you. Great. First question of the day is why in moment? Yeah, Mark, thanks for asking the question. It's a great question. And I, let me, to answer it, let me back up just a little bit uh, and talk about Mindshare and what we have really been trying to accomplish in behalf of our customers. Uh, a couple of years back, we looked at the market and said, look, how do we take our customers from where they are today to the next level in terms of not only the technology and the innovation of what we do, but partly the services as well? And we looked at the landscape that was out there and we said, look, we want to develop the best products that we possibly can in terms of customer experience um, and how fast can we get that done. And we recognized that uh, looking at other like companies or competitive companies to see if they wanted a partner or were even interested in joining our team might be the, the most strategic way to get there. So in September of last year, uh, we acquired Empathica. Uh, who was a very worthy competitor of ours and aligned similarly to us in terms of the technology platform that they had for customer experience. And we also had uh, met many of their people, which we had a lot of respect for. And so we combined those two companies. Uh, they also had a fantastic global business that we had, we had uh, tremendous respect for the growth of the, their business that was over there. But when we brought each other together, we wanted to go a little bit further than technology and our services. We wanted to focus on uh, what it was that we were delivering, delivering to our customer. There's a real human element to what we do. So with all of that, we looked at a number of names and we came up with In Moment. And for us, In Moment really stood out. It spoke to that every experience happens in moment. And we had these conversations about who owns the customer in an organization, whether it was our own organization or our customer's organization. And what we said is that nobody actually owns the customer, but everybody owns the moment. Excellent. In addition to the new name and brand, you're also talking about the Experience Hub. Can you give us a little information on what that is and how did the idea come about? Yeah, you bet. So the Experience Hub, everything being focused on the experience. And you know, if I talk about the brand again in moment, the tagline to the brand is because every experience matters. So today, you and I, you know, on this video call, are having an experience. It is my desire um, to make sure that that experience is a fantastic one for you. What the Experience Hub allows us to do is to capture, again, using us as an example, to capture this conversation and, and uh, you know, all of the things that we're talking about into one unified platform, and more importantly, be able to pull out of this conversation the important parts of the experience. So that dialogue, if you will, will come into the Experience Hub, will be disseminated in a very elegant way through the platform, and then we'll be able to communicate that back out to our customers in a way that they can actually do something with it. So the focus of experience is essentially this. What we do is we, we capture stories. We listen to stories within the Experience Hub platform so we can tell our stories or tell our customer stories back to them. We're giving the customer the ability in an open-ended comment or in the unstructured world to tell us more about the experience than they've ever told us before. That is the experience hub. That is in moment, and that's how we're developing our products. So we're, we're helping our customers today learn more than they've ever learned in the past. Excellent. What is experience data, and how is it different from other data? Yeah, so to, you know, to continue on you know, that path, um, again, utilizing the unstructured world of open-ended comments, um, being one of the best examples of that. So just allowing people to talk about their experience um, in a way that um, is comfortable for them. And so you know, keeping them outside of the structured world into the unstructured world, um, it, we believe is one of the best ways to do that. There are also customer experiences or just experiences in general that are happening within a business from employees that are having an experience with the own company that they work for. That's an experience. So how do we capture that information and bring it into the experience hub as well? It could even be vendor type information. You know, we're doing a lot of business today in the B2B world where companies are working with their vendors and they want to know what the experience is that they're having you know, and interacting with their vendors. So it really is data agnostic, if you will. It doesn't matter where the experiences are happening. We want to be able to capture those and give them back out you know, to our customers. Um, examples of you know, contact centers on the website, 
um, you know, that type of experience is happening. We want to be able to capture that too. Excellent. So in your opinion, what's next for in moment as well as the customer experience industry itself? Yeah, you know, if I go back to the acquisition and our commitment to, you know, our customers to keep them out front in terms of innovation, um, you know, what's next for us specifically is just that. You know, we are developing some products that um, starting next week, the, you know, our customers and prospective customers will start to see everything that I'm talking about. So from a client perspective, that's how we're developing. Moving forward, you know, the focus on the Omnichannel. I met with the executive team here in New York a few weeks back, a large retailer that said, look, Lonnie, we're so focused on the Omnichannel. We're glad to hear that you guys are developing your products to line up from all these different channels and customer touch points to cap capture the customer experience. Um, you know, but what, uh, what can you tell us that's uh, uh, going to help us go, you know, even further with that? So the products that we're creating, um, we're engaging with our clients so that the, the customer wants to give feedback but wants to give it in a way that's comfortable for them. That's where this open-ended world, this unstructured environment is coming to life. And we're finding out that customers have a lot to say, but they want to say it in their own words. So that is really where the future you know, customer experience is headed. Well, Lonnie, thank you very much for the unique insight. We look forward to hearing more from InMoment in 2014. And uh, again, thank you for the time today. All right, thank you, Mark. Appreciate it.